Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV, and I got a couple more accessories I'm going to install into the RV just to help with the winter camping we're going to be doing. Uh, first up, I got a, a cover for the air conditioner. Um, got this off Amazon, it's about 30 bucks Canadian. And it's a vinyl cover, kind of has a material inside. That'll halt, stop the rain and moisture from getting inside the air conditioner, maybe building up an ice dam or something. And also keep the, the breeze from blowing through into the air conditioner. Um, the air conditioner cover, I'm also going to put some uh, reflectants on the inside of it here. Just layered on the inside and probably put some foam up into the, the space just to stop the, the coldness from coming down through the air conditioner. So we, since we won't be using that for many months now. And the other thing I got is these tank uh, monitors. They're about... 125 Canadian, maybe under 100 bucks American. Uh, Mo Mopika, I guess it's called. There's two sensors, and they uh, they're going to set underneath the propane tanks, and then wirelessly they transmit to me what kind of level we have. Uh, this one has a a physical monitor, but it also has a smartphone app, so I'll be able to look on my phone and check the condition of the the tanks, whether I'm going to have to go fill them. I'm going to try to get away with not bringing in a big tank for the winter. Uh, so far, we haven't really used too much propane. Our electric heaters have keep, kept up. But once it gets cold, we'll be going through the propane. I just don't want to be running out, so I thought this would be a good accessory to install. Okay, there we be. So this one was designed to fit all the different Coleman models. Mine's a Coleman Mach 3. And there's a drawstring at the bottom. You just draw it up underneath and tighten her up, and you're good to go. So I have to check it once in a while, make sure the wind's not blowing it off. And then we got the cover, got some reflectix on it. I'll put it back in place. Should help a bit. Every little bit counts. So install's pretty straightforward. Use the sync button on the on the, the transmitter here to set up your manual con display or your smartphone. You download an app and sync it up. <clears throat> so I've already done that. You can see I've got one tank in and it's showing me almost full and I'm just doing the other tank. You can see it's empty and you can see on here full and empty. So they give you these little spacers because this thing's going to fit in there but if you don't put the spacers you could crush it I guess and they also say it gives a little better reception. So the spacers just go on the side of the tank there so it just sits up a little higher. And they give you some dielectric grease. They want you to take off this little strip. And underneath there is actually the, the sensor. It's kind of a rubber sticky sticky pad. And then there's the magnet to hold it on the bottom of the tank. So you just put a little bit of this goop on there. Spread it around. Put it on the bottom of the tank. There we go. Just like so. Somewhere in the middle of the tank. And the spacers I had to put pretty close together because you can see my thing in there just has a thin uh, metal strip that goes across and then it's held in by a clamp. Anyway, we'll install that and see how the sensors look. So right away I see a couple things I don't like. I don't like those stupid little, uh, little uh, shims they give you for the tank. If you're bringing your tank in and out all the time, you're going to knock those off. And I don't know how they, well they would work in transport. So I guess you're going to have to take off the, the sensors when you drive. Also when you change your tanks, you're probably going to want to pull the sensor. And then what are you going to do? Put that little, that little uh, dielectric goop on every time. I think what I'm going to do is get some rings for mine instead of those shims. You know, so the tank can sit inside of a ring and give a little more clearance for that. But a couple niggly things already. Let's go in and install this in the rig and we'll see how it works from inside the rig. Okay, so I decided to mount it just under my uh, battery monitor in the bathroom here. That way when I'm boondocking and check the power, I can check the propane at the same time. Check the driver's side tank. And that's true because that tank is full, hasn't been uh, used yet. And tank number two, passenger side, we got four lights out of five. And that's about accurate too because we have been using that for about uh, two or three days here. So looks good. Let's go check the app. 
Okay, we'll give you a look at the app here. And there's our two tank readouts. We've got 97% and 63%. That's the one we're actually using now that I say we've been using for two or three days. So that's looking pretty good, probably about right. When I first set it up, I noticed this was 100%, and I was like, oh, why is it 100%? Because I know we've been using it. And then I went into the settings here, and I found there was tank size, and it was defaulted to 20 20 pound tank and we have 30 pound tanks there so that's what was causing that problem anyway I'll use this over the winter and come back with an update I'll have a roundup update uh, uh, review post uh, once we get uh, deeper into the winter or after maybe once we start entering spring of all these different things I've been installing for our winter here in Canada you know like the dehumidifier and the skirting and uh, the heated water hose. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, Bray from loveyrv.com. Stay warm out there, everyone. Cheers, folks.